Hey traders, welcome back. I don't know if you've ever traded a zebra before, but we're going to be trading one of these in our live trading room on Tuesday of this week. I wanted to give you a little heads up preview of what that might look like. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm not a big fan of the name Zebra. Uh, tasty Trade and Tasty Works, they love to uh, create jade lizards and names of trades that are cool, catchy names, but really they're just slapping on another name on top of a existing trade that's been around forever. But whether you call it a Zebra or a synthetic stock purchase or a synthetic short, uh, it's a very interesting strategy. I first really started to use it in volume in 2008. I think we're in a crash right now. This is nothing compared to what we experienced in 2008. And it got so bad at certain points in the crash of 2008 that, number one, the only way to make really any money in the market was to short stuff, short anything you could get your hands on. But number two, uh, there were a couple of issues with that. Number one of, uh, of those two issues was that it, basically the markets were banning short sales altogether. There were periods of time where the stock exchanges just simply wouldn't let you short a stock. They actually uh, dis disallowed the ability to go short a stock. Uh, to try to stem the tide to the downside. But the other challenge was that when the shorting bans were lifted, uh, either A, there wasn't any stock available to short, um, which has kind of happened uh, in the most recent past here with some of these meme stocks where you just couldn't get your hands on. You know, obviously, AMC and GME were junk stocks that had no value, but you couldn't capitalize on it because there weren't any shares to short, right? Uh, so either A, there were just no shares to short, or the shares that you could get were very expensive. There were high borrowing costs. So that's where a zebra comes in, or that's where a synthetic short long or a synthetic short short position uh, comes into place. And that's what I want to show you today because we're going to be doing one of these uh, on uh, an index on Tuesday in our live trading room. But I wanted to show you an example of kind of what that looks like. So let's take a, an example here of Tesla. We can use that, and I think that's as good as anything for an example. Uh, it's an expensive stock, and it's a stock that's obviously been uh, very much in a downtrend as of late. You might be interested in shorting it, or heck, you might find that there's going to be some support down here and you want to get long it. But it's going to be, either way, a expensive trade, right? If we wanted to go short 100 shares of uh, Tesla, uh, it's going to be what uh, sixty grand, sixty six, sixty six thousand dollars. You could do it on margin, right? You could short it on margin, but it's still a sixty six thousand dollar trade. And uh, it's interesting. I didn't even know this would pop up here, but this was what we were just talking about: borrow fees. Now that's not a big borrow fee, one point two five percent. It's not a big borrow fee, uh, and it also says though will change based on availability of shares. Obviously, there's a lot of people out there with interest in shorting Tesla right now. So you know, number one, it's going to be expensive to just go out and short 100 shares of Tesla. Uh, it would be the same, obviously, if we wanted to alter the trade and go long. Uh, 100 shares, right? Still going to be the same price. It's going to be $66,000 or half of that if you want to trade it on margin. But either way, it's an expensive trade. Uh, and again, you've got this issue of trying to find shares to borrow. It's going to be expensive to borrow the shares. There might be limited availability, maybe just like a GME or an AMC. You couldn't get the shares to short if you wanted them, right? So that's where a synthetic short can come into play. Uh, and it could be something that would make maybe a little bit more sense. Uh, from a lot of standpoint, from a capital deployment standpoint, from a uh, money cost of borrowing issue, from share available is they, uh, share availability issue, all these kind of things could play. And so let's say let's just go out maybe 30 days here. Could pick any date that you want in terms of the time frame that you're looking for on the trade. And uh, a, basically, a synthetic short would be something where we would sell a naked call. And uh, obviously, you know kind of what that would look like if we sold a call is that we would make money if the, the stock did go down, but obviously we would lose money if it went up. 
and well we still got the hundred shares in there don't we let's get rid of the hundred shares and let's sell an at the money call option there we go that's a little bit better so obviously we would make the maximum we would make would be the premium and then of course if the stock went up instead of down we would start losing money right uh, but it, it's still about a thirty three thousand dollar trade here's the key to doing a synthetic trade we're gonna go ahead and add at the same time this at the money short call we're gonna add a long put and basically you can see in the risk graph that that looks just exactly like a short position of a hundred shares even although we don't have to deal with the borrowing costs we don't have to deal with share availability if there is a, another shorting band that were to come up we would be able to overcome that uh, because we're not actually shorting the shares we're just synthetically replicating a short position it'd be thirty nine thousand dollars instead of sixty six thousand dollars but again it's still a lot of money and if you were using margin on actually shorting the shares you're still you're actually putting up more money than you would have put up before and so where a zebra would come into play it, and again we could flip this around right we could easily flip this around to where we wanted to do a synthetic long position position here with Tesla where we're now uh, actually purchasing the at the money call and we are selling the at the money put and again it would just be uh, a little bit cheaper if you were going to actually go out and pay all sixty six thousand dollars it would be a cheaper way to get long Tesla uh, but again if you were using margin it's actually more expensive so there are some ways that we can alter this to make it look a little bit more appealing so what we'll do here and this is sort of what a zebra would look like let's just for example purposes let's go back to this same window that we're looking at here which is about 33 days again you could pick your time frame that you're looking at on this but we would basically come in here and short one at the money call and then we would come in here and go long uh, a couple in the money calls so we want to do two of those and you can see on this a couple of things first of all let's look at it in a risk graph you can see that they're very much resembles basically just being long the stock right a couple of lines that you can see here that are interesting with regards to this and again this is a zebra and basically again once again we are on a, uh, the trade itself we're going short one at the money call and then we are going long two in the money calls and you can alter this in the money call level to sort of adjust what this risk graph would look like, what your probabilities of success would look like, what the amount of premium you would have to put up to do that trade would look like. You can fluctuate that in and you can see that it's going to lower the amount of premium that you need to bring in, but it's going to lower your probabilities of success. You could go out further and you can see that it will raise the amount of premium that you'll have or amount of capital that you'll have to put up in the trade but it increases your probabilities of success but regardless you can come in here and uh, put that wherever you find the sweet spot and you can see that essentially if you look at the orange line this trade obviously goes out 33 days and this line right here where my cursor is at is obviously where you would end up P&L wise on this trade at expiration which is 33 days out but the orange line is where you would be basically theoretically in your profit or loss zone at this moment in time so if Tesla were to actually start rebounding you would start making money basically on day one the very uh, first day if we just got a little bump in Tesla this would start to move you into the profit zone so it's very very reminiscent of a long position uh, obviously twelve thousand dollars is a lot more affordable than thirty six thousand dollars or thirty nine thousand dollars or sixty six thousand dollars depending on how you wanted to slice that other long position but we're going to be doing one of these trades we're going to be doing one of these setups on Tuesday in our live trading room on one of the indices probably the SPX or the NDX and it is just a very very low cost way our trade will probably be around a thousand dollars maybe twelve hundred dollars at most and it will give us some upside exposure to this marketplace at a very low cost and then there's some pretty cool things that you can do out here to sort of resemble a cover 
on this. If your trade, if you feel like your trade isn't necessarily going to work out as planned, to actually mitigate your cost in this trade and start bringing in some income on this side of the trade up here. So anyway, if you've never traded a synthetic uh, long or short position, if you've never traded a zebra before, uh, that's what we're looking at doing uh, this Tuesday in our trading room. If you are interested in taking a look at our live trading room, we've got a free one week trial. And when I say free, it's absolutely free. You don't pay a penny for that. There's no cost to get into the ac into the room, get live access for one full week. And then if you allow the trial to move into a full subscription, we give you a very, very ironclad double your money back guarantee in that first month. Uh, I will click a link down here, or I will input a link down here below for you. Number one, to sign up for the free trial, if that's something that you're interested in. And number two, give you a link to the video talking about the requirements for the double your money back guarantee. Yeah, we do require a few things of you. You do actually have to participate in the trading room. You have to have an accountability meeting with myself to make sure that you're actually following the rules that we give you. But if you're all in on trading, it shouldn't be a big deal. And it gives you a very easy entry, a low barrier of entry to try our trading room. So let me know how uh, it goes for you guys this week. I'm excited to get back in the trading room with you. Talk to you soon.